This is one of the teams I've been seeing circulating around that has probably the best success rate of Assault Melee. Just trying to make him tanky. Chandler, Nanashi, and I think you know the deal. Nanashi will also, you know, potentially give Melee the boss from his passive, which uh, could be really good for the Amplify, unless I get an extra cover. No, I did not. Very good. Let's, uh, let's hang on. We will be losing buffs when we attack anyways. Um, <clears throat> so let's wait for potentially more buffs before we start losing them. Oh, Melly might actually have more than two cards. Yep, next turn. So he's not going to get an Ashi buff. Maybe, uh, hmm. Nah, it's fine. It's all right. On off no, I'm pretty excited now that we've just got off noise relic for the other Melio's relics. I'm sure, you know, they will mask some of them up. I think the one that I'm least um, hopeful for is Demon Meliodas. I think they're gonna shaft Demon Meliodas like crazy. But I am a little hopeful, you know, for base Meliodas. So 300,000 HP. We're, what we're looking for here is tankiness, right? But also, <clears throat> we're gonna be able to do some damage as well. If you've seen <laughs> Meliodas, Assault Melios with Sigurd and without Sigurd, the difference is tremendous. Also, unfortunately, because we're facing Masterosa, the moment I attacked, I lost my attack buff, which is just garbage. I hate, 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 hate that they specifically made Estarosa counter the Meliodas that were already present, both him and Trader Meliodas, just so that Purgatory Meliodas would have a better chance of working with him. I'm gonna do this right here. Because Melee's gonna lose the debuffs. Please kill. I need this to kill. Ugh. Dear lord, my damage is garbage. As tanky as I am, my damage is gonna be garbage. Especially with this AoE skill. God, it, the AoE skill doesn't even work with this buff. Which is very sad. They need... They won't. It's been too, it's been too long. They won't make changes to this game anymore, right? Would have been great, though, if they were to change this garbage effect of double damage against buffs. It's garbage. Actual garbage. Triple damage against buffs would be more fair. Because triple damage against debuffs, multiplier is not even that much lower. This is 100%. 100%? It's literally just a 200% multiplier card with no extra effect. Actual trash. Shouldn't be too bad against the Fraudron. God, bro, y yesterday I was running that human team with... What's her face? Easton in the back to counter Fraudrons and Liz's. Couldn't find a single one. A second match today, obviously. I find one. It's in I hate this game. <laughs> it serves on purpose. It serves on purpose. Actually on purpose. You, you put like a character like that, and you immediately can't find it. Because like there are not that many people running characters like that because Ethan is very exclusive and she only works with humans. And then there's um, the one from KOF, which is also pretty exclusive. And she doesn't provide anything else. So for majority of matches, where well, you're not going to be facing these people, it doesn't really make a, that much of a like difference, right? Um, did I just commit to this? I think I will. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. That... That is unfortunate. That is real unfortunate. What are the odds? Mm -mm. There are no odds that I survive this. Actually zero. Actually zero. Oh! That cannot have been 6-6. Six, six. Like, Zaldrus surviving? It was 6-6, six, six. wow. With, with my L link as well. 5 6 my L link or 4 6. 4 6 my L link. That's crazy. Bro, I hate that Melly 
Okay. Melly didn't get his holy relic because he got attacked. Oh my god. I really hope they don't destroy the chances of like Lost Vein Melly getting a usable relic. Ver uh, I think Demon Melly and Lost Vein are gonna get garbage relics. I don't wanna s I don't wanna be negative and not believe in them, but I don't believe in them. I don't <laughs> I don't believe for a second that they're gonna give Lost Vein a good relic. Like Assault Melee got a decent relic, but it's not even like OP or anything. I think if Lost Vein got like a, a good relic, it would be different. Like Lost Vein, if he got something that would give him like true damage, he would actually be a contender for a good Meliodas. I think Assault Melee was kind of doomed because of Asterios and like removing the buffs and you know, he needs Amplify and stuff. Okay, one of these. Never mind. Nanashi, no, I can't lower his defense. No, Nanashi. I mean, probably has a Nanashi in the back. There's a chance. I meant Mayo, of course. I cannot lower Mayo's defense related stats. Very unfortunate. <clears throat> very, very unfortunate. Okay, lots of melee cards. That does mean he's not gonna have Nanashi passive next turn, but sorry. It is all right. Hmm. He's gonna eat with Sarah. See, here's the thing, right? It's like, Purgatory Mali punishes you for attacking and punishes you for not attacking. Assault Mali kind of punishes you for not attacking because then Mali gives himself the buffs again. But man, you do not really get punished for attacking him. Like one buff, it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, he's going for Zeldris. Okay, I did not expect that. All right, well we're good. Again, Melee could not die there. Honestly, I don't think Melly. If, even if he AoE'd with Mael and then single targeted, I don't think he would have killed Melly because he's just so tanky right now. But we didn't. Oh, actually, we didn't have the Nashi passive. Maybe. Without the Nashi passive, possibly. But with it, no chance. So much HP for ungeared. And Mael is honestly not as good in ungeared as geared, I find. It's weird. I mean, Mael with Goddess, Liz, and Margaret is still obviously going to be a stupid good team. But I feel like in, in Geared, that's when he like that's where he like really pops off damage, and in Ungeared he kind of lacks in the damage department. If that makes any sense. And max debuffs for Zaldra's Holy Relic. Then he's gonna cleanse, but then we disable. Easy. Another Sorrow Margaret. That is uncommon to see, honestly. Very uncommon to see. The fact that we didn't see a Goddess Liz Mael team. I mean, to be fair, there have been quite a few um, teams I've been facing for the last few days. It's very weird because we all kind of know that Margaret Goddess Liz is the absolute best. All right, it's an AI. I think it's gonna be my last match. We did get some real players, but it it's sad right now. Like, look at this. Look at this. Very exciting match against this guy. Double Margaret buff when she's disabled. It makes me real excited to play this game. When there's no one playing it. Why would they play it? The unit that came out this week was Red Goddess Liz. And she is not usable in any activity in the game. Literally a unit that doesn't do anything. It's actually embarrassing. So, I mean, it, it's usual for weeks that we get characters like these. It's like impossible to find players in PvP because no one cares. But I know it does hurt my feelings. 
It does. It's okay. Origin, origins coming soon. Origins coming soon. Origin, origins coming soon. And Black Clover Mobile. And some other games. It's like the Star Rail game coming out. It looks pretty good. Grand Cross looks pretty good too, man. <laughs> if only, if only the devs also loved Grand Cross like I do, we would have a different experience. We, we truly would.